Oh, it was from there you started. Yeah. Which is where? In New Delhi. Uh, grave of Mahatma Gandhi. Because uh, Mahatma Gandhi was my inspiration. And, and he was my sort of uh, great visionary uh, sort of mentor. So, uh, and he was the greatest apostle of non-violence and peace and, uh, and disarmament. And so, symbolically, we said, they will start from the grave of Gandhi. And, and no money. No money. And the first country you went into was an Islamic country, yeah. Pakistan. No, that was a, a very interesting experience of going into Pakistan because uh, many of my friends and colleagues and family members came to say goodbye on the border of India and Pakistan. And one of my friends, very, very close friend, was extremely worried. He said, you are going to Pakistan, aren't you crazy? We are going without money, without food, walking. Pakistan is our enemy country. There were three wars between India and Pakistan. And, and um, uh, they are Muslims, and uh, we are Hindus, so there is no um, possibility of you um, getting any hospitality there. Mm -hmm. So, and then he said, at least you take some food with you. And here is some food. He came equipped, brought some packets of food. And that was a very telling moment. I thought for a second, I looked at the packets of food and my inner voice said, which I articulated, and I said to my friend, I said, these packets of food are not packets of food. They are packets of mistrust. Mm -hmm. I cannot take these packets with me. What am I going to say to Pakistani hosts if I meet any, that I did not trust you, that you will feed me or not? And so I brought all the way from India my own food. And that's not the trust. That's not the way of the trust. So my friend was in tears. He's, I said, why are you in crying, my friend? Why are you in tears? He said, Satish, I don't know if I will ever see you again. You are going to Muslim countries, Christian countries, communist countries, capitalist countries, wilderness, mountains, forests. I don't know what will happen to you. You have no money, no food, walking. This is the worst thing one can do for your safety. <laughs> so, at that time, I said that if I die on a peace pilgrimage, on making pilgrimage for peace, and I die, that is the best death that I can wish for. Mm -hmm. So if I die, I'm not worried. But I will not take money. I will not take food. Because pilgrimage is pilgrimage. And dying on a pilgrimage is the best death. So I came to terms with my own death at that moment. But I was escaping from death in my childhood um, to become a monk. I realized here that death is welcome. Death is as good as, as life. And therefore we have not to be afraid of death. So I said to him, he gave me a big hug and a big embrace and we parted company. And I entered into the border of Pakistan. And to my utter surprise, within a few moments, as soon as we put our feet onto the soil of Pakistan, I heard someone crying, calling our names. And I was surprised, utterly. And I said to this, this man was asking us, are you Satish and E.P. Menon who are walking for peace and coming to Pakistan for peace? And I said, yes, we are. But we don't know anybody in Pakistan. We have written to nobody. And here you are, you know our names. How? And he said, I heard about you. And I read about you. And some people talked about you. I heard that two Indians are walking for peace and coming to Pakistan for peace. I said, I'm for peace. All this war between India and Pakistan is complete nonsense. So I wanted to meet you. So I've been coming for you. I've been looking for you. I came yesterday. I came day before yesterday. And I was wondering whether I'll meet you and whether you have uh, crossed the border somewhere else or what happened to you. So I'm so glad to find you. Now that was such an experience, eye-opening and mesmerizing and kind of magical 
moment to think that five minutes ago my friend was saying that you are going to a Muslim country, an enemy country, and take food, take money, don't go, don't walk. And five minutes later, here is, uh, here is my enemy, so-called enemy, face to face, I'm standing, who says, come to my home, be my guest, welcome to Pakistan, we must have peace between India and Pakistan. What a contrast, what a surprise it was. And at that moment I said, if you come, if I come to Pakistan as an Indian, I meet a Pakistani. If I come here as a Hindu, I meet a Muslim. But if I come here as a human being, I meet a human being. And so that's the primary identity. The identity of a pilgrim is not an Indian or a Hindu or a Muslim or a Christian or a Buddhist or a capitalist or a communist or a Gandhian identity of pilgrim is that he's a human being and when you are a human being all human beings are your family members and all other beings on the earth are your family members then you can trust so this is our primary identity and we have to shed all secondary identities if we want to be pilgrims I'm a Japanese I'm an American I'm an English I'm an Indian I'm a Chinese these are secondary identities. The primary identity of a pilgrim is human being. Absolutely.